Well, hello there. How are you? I wanted to do a DIY Wednesday with you. And I was really struggling to come up with something. And I just didn't want to come on here and do like bath salts. Because that's kind of lame. And you can go to any resource group and get a bajillion ideas for bath salts because they're awesome and everybody uses them. But I wanted to, like, I was just really struggling. So I was just going to skip it. And then I got out of the shower and I noticed that one of my rollers was empty. And I was like, oh, perfect. Now I have something that I actually have to make that I'm pretty sure a lot of you will want to make too. And so then I feel like my DIY Wednesday will be a good one. That's my hope. And Xander cannot or is not joining us for this specifically because I'm gonna be making this roller for my boobs and no teenage boy wants to sit next to his mom while she talks about her boobs. So I decided to just let him have a little pass on this one tonight and hopefully I'll brainstorm and he can come up with us, come meet with us next week. But so I have this boob roller it even says boob on it and I use it twice a day um, in the summertime I'm a little bit less um, I don't use it necessarily in the morning um, especially if I know that I'm gonna be <clears throat> excuse me out in the Sun hey Jessica um so, but you know other than that I use it year-round religiously for my boobs and um, I have no reason to believe that um you know the the big c is going to affect my boobs there's nobody in my family that i'm aware of that is concerned about their boobs but the idea is to be proactive right like don't wait till something happens not that you would live in a state of con constant fear or worry but you know do the good things be proactive okay so moving along i use a combination of I can count. I cut my finger on um, Monday, I think it was, and it's like really deep and I just took the band-aid off and it hurts, so I'm like, eh. I just can't. <laughs> boob roller, yay, yes. You should do a boob roller too. Every woman should. It probably wouldn't hurt the guys either because although it may not be as common as um, breast cancer in women, you know, men can still get breast cancer. And if you listened to my little spiel yesterday, um, although it may not be uh, normal, it is common. I splished that around. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked, I'm scrolling. So I have orange oil, I have black pepper oil, and I have frankincense oil. Now, the FDA does not like me to tell you why I use these three oils because that there, is, there are specific reasons why I'm gonna put them into my boob roller. And um, I would encourage you to do a search. Like you could even, although I don't recommend Google, you could even do just a straight up Google search. But um, there is a reason and I would encourage you to look into that. Don't freak out, I'm not pouring the whole bottle in. This one was kind of empty-ish. So I would say there was probably like 15 to 25 drops in here, okay? That's all, I'm not using that much. Um, guys get breast cancer. Oh, okay, so I didn't know that statistic. Jessica's saying that men get breast cancer more often than prostate cancer. I believe it. I haven't done a full-on study with that, but that does not shock me. Black pepper. I love black pepper, you guys. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is a highly underrated and underused oil. It smells amazing. Again, look it up. And again, this bottle is almost empty. I probably have maybe closer to 30 drops in here. But I'm, I'm not gonna count them out because, I mean, it's my boobs. I can spare some extra drops of oils, right? Yes, yes you can. We all can because it's good to be proactive. And so this bottle is about half filled. So I don't know, maybe I don't do the math part really well. I just kind of dump. Frankincense is pretty full. So I am gonna be a little bit more conservative with this one but um i feel like everybody has heard about you know frankincense especially as we get closer and closer to christmas 
There is a reason why this stuff has been around since before Jesus. They have been using this a long, long time. And that's not just because it is incredibly amazing and it smells good and you should put it on your face like everywhere because it's fantastic, especially right here. Yes. Okay, now I look like I'm doing a makeup tutorial, which I am not because I don't wear makeup. All right, so now I would say that my bottle is close to three quarters of the way full. Then I'm gonna take Cell Light Carrier Oil. Not because I think my boobs are fat and that I think I need to shrink their fat. Um, but this blend has some pretty awesome carry, like there's um, coconut oil in here, but there's also olive oil. Have you heard this whole thing about rubbing olive oil on your tatas? Uh, that's in here. There's um, sweet almond oil in here. There's sage oil in here. Uh, juniper, like there's good stuff in here. Oh, um, grapefruit. Okay, just another good one to just love on your boobs with. So then I'm just gonna top this off and fill it up. Super easy. I love the little pumps. They make my life way less messy. If you've watched any of the uh, other DIY Wednesdays that Xander and I do, we're not very um, skilled at, yeah, that went on really easy, at putting um, carrier oils into bottles. We tend to spill them everywhere. So I'm just gonna make sure that that is on nice and tight and that the top is secure. And then, I don't know if you saw the other one we did where we don't shake our bottles of essential oils, right? We don't wanna add more air to them because it oxidizes them. So we don't wanna do that. So I will just gently roll it in my hands like this. And I'm gonna do this again each time that I use it. Again, morning and night. Um, I'm just gonna roll it to kind of get that synergy going. And then I'm going to apply it. And I'm just gonna like go all the way around both of them. I'm gonna go up kind of into my armpit just a little bit, like not actually in my armpit because I've got a whole nother set of oils for my pits. But I'll go like this and then just kind of all the way around and then I'm gonna rub it in. I will not in fact be doing that on Facebook Live. Um, but I will be doing that as soon as I hang up here. So um, that will be my nighttime application and I'll start it again in the morning and I will do that until my bottle runs out. This is just a reused um, 15 milliliter bottle. Don't ever throw your bottles away because you can use them for everything. Um, but this is something that I would highly, highly recommend you whip up and uh, keep it working. Why am I not gonna, <laughs> Jessica's asking that. Okay, well, because my family sometimes wears on here. So also I just don't think that anybody really wants to see my boobs. So before we get into that conversation, I will say goodnight. I'm so excited that I thought of a DIY Wednesday. I will really brainstorm because I don't just, like I said, I don't want to come in here and just like desperately talk to myself. That's icky. But I do want to give you something of value and something that hopefully you'll use. Um, so if you're doing DIYs for Christmas, that is fantastic. I encourage it. People love homemade gifts and we have a ton of resource groups with amazing recipes. And I guess that's out, so I will peace out and talk to everybody later.